of good feelings Americans enjoyed a rising sense of nationalism. Citizens started to have feelings of pride and loyalty to the young nation. Henry Clay developed a plan that came to be known as the American System. It was a series of measures to make the U.S. self-sufficient. Clay wanted the money from a protective tariff to be used to improve roads and canals. Clay also pushed for a national bank that would provide a single currency which would make interstate trade easier. Clay thought that these internal improvements would unite the country. Some members of Congress believed that the Constitution did not permit the federal government to spend money on internal improvements. Clay argued that the possible gains for the country justified federal action. Despite Clay's efforts a sense of sectionalism arose in the country. Sectionalism is loyalty to your state or region. During the era of good feelings the Democrats were the dominant political party. Political disputes arose between different parts of the country. John C. Calhoun was a southern leader, Daniel Webster advocated for the north, and Henry Clay advanced the interests of the western part of the country. Sectionalism would eventually lead to new political parties that were split along regional lines. This fracture into regional parties was the first step in the long march to the Civil War in 1861. Check out the next video in the Era of Good Feelings series with What is a Tariff?